Hallelujah. God bless you. You're welcome to this prophetic session. I'm sure you found and you're welcome to my YouTube channel, Prophetic Moments with Blessing. May the Lord bless you bountifully in the mighty name of Jesus. Amen. If you're new to my channel, please consider subscribing. Consider becoming a part of this family. You will be blessed bountifully in the mighty name of Jesus. If you're new, please uh, uh, um, and thank you so much for tuning in. I This prophetic word, my, my prayer is that at the end of this prophetic word, you're going to gain clarity, you're going to have understanding, you're going to have peace with the situation. Yes, because the Lord has revealed a situation and that is what I'm about to talk about, I'm about to, to, to share on. You see, you are going through a situation and you cannot, you, you, you are unable to say exactly why you're going through this situation. You are unable to ascribe a reason to why you are facing this particular situation. You see, I came to understand in my, in my life that there are certain things that men go through and that they are unable, there are certain things that go, men go through that are unrelated to something they did or did not do. So if you find yourself in such a place, you are going to notice that you will be unable to say if it was this action or that action that led to this. Because we all know that people say that everything we do in life has its consequence. Even the Bible says that seed time and harvest shall not fail. Whatever you sow, you will reap as a harvest. So there is uh, um, this worry that we often have where we cannot explain the reason for a situation. You know, there's a time in your life where you go through certain things and you're unable to explain for sure exactly what made me go through this. Why am I facing this situation? Why am I in this position? Why am I going through this? Now, sometimes people do nothing wrong and they find themselves in those places. Sometimes people do bad things, find themselves in some places. Sometimes it's neither what you've done, but you find yourself in that same place. I read the story in the book of John chapter 7 verse 30. And that is what I'm going to use to explain what the Lord has laid in my heart to explain about this situation. John 7 verse 30 says that, And these, they tried to seize him, but no one laid a hand on him because his time had not yet come. This was a story about Jesus, right? The Pharisees wanted to seize him from the crowd to kill him. That's the beginning. That was at the beginning when they were jealous of Jesus. And then this verse talks about one day when they saw him and they wanted to seize him. He says that at this, at this gathering, they tried to seize him, but no one laid a hand on him. And guess what the reason was? Guess why no one laid a hand on him? Because his time had not yet come. His time had not yet come. That was the reason why no one could lay a hand on him. His time had not yet come. It was not as though they lacked strength. It was not as though they lacked power. It was not as though the men were not in, were, were not many, were not enough to hold him. It was not as though Jesus was powerful. It was not as though the crowd or it was dark. You know, there are many reasons we have given ourselves why we can be in certain situations. It just says that because his time had not yet come. And the Lord made me to understand this. That there are certain things that you can go through as a person that have nothing to do with what you did or did not do. But it's just by divine will. I'm going to take it again. There are certain things that you can go through as a person. Maybe good or bad experience. And it has nothing to do with what you did or did not do. But it was just by a divine will. Yes. When God decides to choose a person, when God chooses a person and decides to use him to showcase his glory, when God chooses a person and decides to use him to carry out his purpose. I've never read the story in the book of Hosea, the book of Hosea, how God tells a prophet to marry a prostitute. God chose him to pass across his message, his message to the Israelites. Look at the story of Moses. God chose Moses to be the deliverer, deliverer of the Israelites out of Egypt. There are many stories where God chose people for good or for bad. It was nothing related to what they did. 
but he had everything to do with the will of God. He says they could not lay a hand on him because his time had not yet come. They could not lay a hand on him because his time had not yet come. There are certain things, certain situations, certain challenges you find yourself in. And irrespective of what you do, how you struggle, you put in your effort to move, your effort to go past that challenge, you do your best, yet nothing changes. It could just be that God has a purpose why he has kept you in that place. And he's trying to accomplish that purpose. It could just be that the reason why you are there is a divine reason. It could just be the will of God. You see, after trying everything you can, after doing everything you could or can do, after putting in your best, get to a point where you say that the Lord's will be done. Let your will be done. Many people feel guilty at this stage. They feel overwhelmed. The thing is a curse. The thing is hatred. The thing they did something bad. The thing they see. No. Sometimes it's nothing about you. And it's just the will of God that is in motion. It is just the will of God that is being affected. I want you to find peace with this situation. That sometimes you might go through a season that has nothing to do with what you did or did not do. But has everything to do with God's will. And until that will is fulfilled, you might not get out of that season, irrespective of what you do. You see, what makes it God's will is that it works out his purpose, either in your life or in the kingdom of God. You know, many people have thought that if it's God's will, why am I still suffering? If it's God's will, it should bring me peace. No, sometimes in God's will, good and bad cohabitates. I want you to find peace and understand that God knows you. The Bible says that the one that watched over Israel, he neither sleeps nor slumbers. God is not deaf. God sees you. And if he has, he, and he is silent over that situation, it could just mean one thing. He has a purpose for it. And I want you to trust him over that season. Trust him over that situation. And I pray that the Lord will strengthen you with might in this season. And God will strengthen you from within with might as you wait on him in the name of Jesus. Amen. God bless you. I love you. I'll see you soon. Shalom.